dedicate this song to the people of Kiribati, whose days are numbered on the beloved Atoll Nation. Scientists have confirmed that together with low lying Atoll countries are standing front line of danger from sea level rise. A clear message about climate change in Kiribati. A people who are uncertain of their future on an island affected by rising sea levels. And it's getting worse. A seminar held at the AUT University last night addressed the challenges of climate change in the Pacific and the role that media play. Kiribati independent journalist and one of two speakers, Tabaranang Karaoba, says Pacific people are linked to their land in a cultural and spiritual way. That makes news of climate change hard to take. They belong to the land. No. Their land is theirs. They really have a strong connection there. And when climate change is something that's going to destroy that, so they will feel that something you know, uh, is trying to, to move them or remove them from, from their land. So when the media is trying to do uh, its work on covering the story, people didn't want to hear that because they don't want to hear stories about their, their sinking, they are going to die. Yeah. So that's one one reason that that's caused the breakdown, breaking of down of communication. And the challenge for media lies in the way they get their messages across. For the media alone, they need to, to work on stories uh, to keep at least some, some positive, you know, especially on adaptation, what is going to happen and how are they going to do that instead of you no. Know, putting the people as victims, of course they are the victims, but they need to come to come up with a different different approach, different style to tell the people that their country is in danger. This is this is how they're going to help, you know. The church leaders, you know, they need they need um, to tell that the people that um, things are happening and they don't need to be panicked because they are slowly, slowly but rather than causing panic, you know, among the, the people. Former science journalist Dr Jan Sinclair says local media focus more on the politics. But in New Zealand and Australia, they're allowing politicians to define the problem and politicians say that it's a big international problem but it's not our problem. Now, it seems to me that journalists have a responsibility to tell people, number one, you actually are in danger, and number two, oh look, there are things you can do, start thinking about them. But part of the problem, she says, is getting the experts talking to the media. Look, you know all these things about climate change, people need to know about them. Why are you not talking to the news media? And they say, no, our role is simply to advise policymakers. Surely it makes more sense for scientists to try to swallow their dislike of the news media and collaborate with journalists on getting correct scientific information out to endangered populations. And collaboration may be the key in places like Kiribati. Community leaders are also include um, the church leaders. You know, the majority of the people in, in, in Kiribati, uh, many of them, they respect and listen to the church leaders, uh, the pastor, the priest, you know. So if those people, you know, at the top, if they start thinking that something is wrong, something is going on, if they agree that um, they need to work with the government, uh, that uh, something needs to be done, they need to tell the message down, bring it down to the community. If the message of climate change came in the beginning and discussed among you know, as in the appropriate way to them, I feel they might the result might be different. And Dr. Sinclair agrees that journalists need to focus their message on what the public need to know. So the focus at the moment from journalists has been, let's look at the solution. And oh, what's the solution? Oh, we have to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Well, we do. It's really important. But at the same time, journalists have a responsibility to their publics that if there's something dangerous coming, they should tell people about it. It's very important for journalists to be contesting that holding of power. But, and I think climate change is a good example of this, they're losing sight of the fact that their first and their primary job is to inform the people who read their publication, listen to their programmes, watch their programmes. And part of this focus is about being informed. Another way of helping um, the media and the journalists to, to drain uh, is one of the way of doing that alongside uh, the NGOs. Uh, so the course is, is the university. If they can um, you know, set up or design uh, programs for the journalists in, in, in the Pacific. A lot of journalists think, oh, it's scientific, I'm not going to understand that. 
but in fact these reports are accessible, you can read it. If journalists, if business journalists are prepared to sit down and read really dense financial information to find out financial scandals, that's much harder to work through in my way of thinking than reading through these. But for now, the concern is getting these messages through to Pacific people. People's own no, identity, no, the, their land, no, their, their culture, very hard to, to remove people from the, no, from the root. So that